You're listening to the Bonnery Show. It's eight in the evening. Tune in every night at eight to listen to the Bonnery Show on Irish News Radio or ITV. The Bonnery Show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Today is Monday, and we'll be talking about, we'll be covering the mess that Ireland is in. There's black youths running amok in North Dublin. They're behind numbers of vicious assaults, robberies, and even threats on lives of the Gardaí in recent months. The Gardaí say they don't have the resources to deal with it. And we know that the government have taken down loads of Gardaí stations and they're underpaid for their work. Now, what's happening to our guards has been totally disarmed. Our defences, and everything to keep us safe is in the Gardaí has been been dismantled. Ask yourself why are is the government dismantling the most fundamental basis of what a country should have is a policing force and to keep us safe and then flooding us with migrants from countries, third world countries that have very dangerous attitudes and violent natures. Why is this happening? They're not from a war zone. They're just from a very different mentality and a very violent mentality. Jack Chambers from Fianna Foyle said the, said the situation is very serious. Now you know when an Irish person says it's very serious, it's critical. It's not an English. An English person would say it's very serious and probably very serious. If an Irish person is to say it's very serious, that means it's critical. That means we're in a very, very, very dangerous situation. He says that the, every time the Guardi try to gain control, it risks a minor, uh, a mini riot. Every time they try to control the crime levels, the gang is African origins. They don't say which part of Africa or if it's to do with Islam. And these are the things that they need to know, but they won't say. They, well, I suppose at least they're saying they're African. But it'd be interesting to know what part of Africa and are they Islamic? Um, the area has been destroyed. Um, the Irish li are living in absolutely fear. Mahalot, Angar, um, Tyrrell's Town and Clonkey are the areas that are hugely affected, spreading across the city. Um, and, not, and even non-Irish Eastern Europeans are in fear, in fear of heading in, fear of the level of violence from these thugs that are out of control, that the Guardi are letting run riot because they don't have the resources. Um, the Balbriggan is also very bad, and the surrounding areas towards Balbriggan. One office on duty um, to deal with the entire area. So when a call comes in, they ignore it because it's too dangerous. I don't blame them. There's only one on duty, but this is ridiculous. That are you know we're supposed to be in the first world. We're like this is crazy. This is what the the main thing that our money should be put into and not into bloody abortions but even to a police force this is ridiculous taxpayers money should be going into a police force to mind us we're we're in danger now and what you'll have is areas like you have in the uk where a white flight because they can't live together because they're too dangerous Transgender Harris has decided that it's more important to talk to a few transgender um, for the wording of women, but will refuse us to speak to a doctor, a hundred doctors that want to meet to talk about being forced into abortions against their will. They object to the killing of healthy babies. Now this is this bullshit feminazi liberal fucking stupidity gender women can only have babies like it, this is just gets just stupid ridiculous that is what we are we are women and we have babies 
any more than men produce sperm. Only men can produce sperm. This is just basic stuff, like for God's sake. So he'd rather meet these people who are born men, who've decided that they're women. So they want these, their rights um, recognised. What rights? They're not women. First of all, they're bullying to get them in to go to the same toilets as little girls. And, you know, women, they want to have... This is just ridiculous. They were born... Men, maybe have a separate toilet. Why do we all have to be affected with this bullshit? They can't have babies. They may, in their little minds, think they're women. And that's fine. As long as it doesn't affect anyone. And this is, like, costing money to change the legislation. When real... A hundred doctors have real concerns about killing babies. They want the legislations change so the wording doesn't have women in it but the women are the only ones who can have baby like it or lump it that is the way it is it's this is so ridiculous it's like they're both different it doesn't mean that they're not equal they are just different as i explained before you know if you picked a hundred man a hundred men to build a house he's more than likely going to do it quicker they're more than likely to do it quicker and better than a hundred women and that is just a fact i'm sorry they're made with muscle they are made with more muscle two point two 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 and a half to every pound of a woman because women carry more fat to carry babies this is just facts people this is you can't change your gender it's just not you know even if you chop your 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 man off you're still not going to be a woman you're just a man without a dick that is it sorry that is the truth you can't put on a dick if you're a female it's just this is just gets beyond childish it's just stupid you cannot become a woman if you're a man and you cannot become a, a man if you're a woman and that is just a reality there's no fairy tale or magic little bloody one that's going to change you into the sex that you feel same as all this stupidity of having these transgender in women races they're not women they are men so their muscle and their ability to develop mu muscle is much quicker and they will become much stronger and much faster because, get it, they are men. They may feel in their little hearts and little heads that they are women, but they are not women. You can't just wish you're a woman and become. So they're now allowed go into all these Olympic sports, which is absolutely disgraceful. And all sports, because all these women have been training all their lives for this running or whatever sport that they are doing, or boxing even. And now these transgender are allowed to compete with them. Which is totally wrong because they're not. Transgender women are really men. If they're going to compete, they need to compete with their own sex. Because whether we like it or not, the sex is different. Men are bigger, stronger, and can create muscle much quicker. And that's a reality. Sorry. And they, men can never have babies. No matter how much you change the legislation to say people, it's still not going to make any difference. Anyway, that's just more of the stupidity of the feminazi and the liberal agenda. Feminazi, you've got nothing to do with any real issues that will help women. How is this going to help women that you, you're, you, that, that the stupid word, you're not doing anything. You want to do something. Go after Islamics for rape and mutilating young girls. That is what women's rights are about. Standing up for for the women and the girls who are abused, being abused by Islam. That's women's rights. Not this bullshit that you're going on about. It's just ridiculous. <sighs> anyway, what we go on about, the UN is just an Islamic rule to force Islam into, into the West. The human rights, which is Saudi, you know, the chief council of human rights in the UN is Saudi, get that, and they don't have any. So they want to normalize sex with children, and that's coming in. To, they're putting it under transgender and, and homosexual. Oh, 
God, this transgender is just getting over the top. What's the population of transgender? There can't be that many to be creating all this mess. Um, Scotland is now compulsory education to learn about transgender. Oh, for God's sake, it's ridiculous. This NAMA, N-A-M-B-A, which George Soros, of course, funders, um, one of his groups, it's a North America Man Boy. It's a paedophilia group. Mm. Um, association. Um, and their biggest slogan is sex before eight is too late. Fucking disgusting. And George Soros, no shock, is funding this because of the leftist bloody movement. Um, it's about bringing in normalizing sex for children disgusting Sinn Féin which have become the biggest joke for 800 years like this is insane that they fought for independence it was a party for independence nationalism um our sovereign union it was about Ireland being Irish and now it's about Irish being non-Irish and they're doing everything that they can do but they're they're paying back their followers. They have losing their followers huge because their followers are mainly what was they're quite they're um, nationalists and they are conservatives, and that's far from where Sinn Fein are now. They're very liberal, sorrows agenda, and that is far. So even in the in the election for presidential. They got something like six percent, which should sh send shock waves, shock waves through Sinn Fein. But they're completely on the wrong course. I mean, the rest of their following Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael have their fools, and a lot of them are even waking up. And there's nobody to part. And Sinn Fein is just going down the exact same route as Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, leftist bullshit, absolutely EU puppets completely insane the eu uh the uk sorry we'll talk about the uk needs to walk away at this stage because anything they're going to hand up to the eu is going to be rejected so declare there's no point in them kind of holding out they're just trying to delay it as for as long as they can to try and force the uk into um into another referendum against their will the best thing for the uk now is and the only thing for them to do is to walk away and let the eu make a deal for them so that's the only thing the french moron absolutely shocking behavior towards the french the american president absolutely shocking like he i, I think Trump should have just punched him in the face. It's absolutely kept to, um, putting his hands on his knees, like trying to intimidate him or make him uncomfortable. You could see Trump just every part of his bony screamish. It's awful, awful. So he goes on about, you know, he threatens the EU army to America. Like, what is the man taking? American army is a proper army. The EU don't have an army. As yet, well, I mean, there's a lot of countries signed in, but there's no proper, there's no, it's a joke. Like, there is nobody trained. The EU or, or the American army is a proper, it'd be wiped out in a minute. Like, uh, somebody needs to bring this man for a psychological assessment. What is wrong with him? Why would you even threaten that? And also, He's a very short memory. France wouldn't be France without America. They'd be part of Germany. Who do you think really won the war? It was the Americans. Without the Americans, the British wouldn't have been able to do that. And France would be speaking German now and would be German. Mind you, the way they're going, they might as well be. But it was America and England who saved their bloody arses. But it's mainly America. And then he goes on to insult them. There would be no France if it wasn't for the bloody Americans. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, also, the moron annoying the British as well for the cross-channeling 
channel so they have they have looked at belgium to move their their lorries and their ships across so they're changing the channel um they're developing rengate to belgium in ziegenberg um because of the french moron and you know he doesn't seem to wake up this is going to affect france if the, the british which they will and which they're developing now is they're going to move to brussels so all their business will go there you french bloody moron um he just absolutely he's incredible moron he's taping into the bloody hitler's place when Merkel steps out he's getting ready and he's just pissing off the americans the english one after other just insane and um, the tories and the dup vote against um may's brexit deal they're joining forces together um the 51 tories oppose may's plan i think it was that plan to put down i thought it was a stupid idea as well to put the the border down the sea which she said she would never ever ever do um so that's not going to go through parliament i didn't think it would um not at any price um the um the deal in northern ireland was, was supposed to help um was supposed to keep the northern ireland in the single market of course the british would not go for that and that would never go through parliament um so that's that done um bulgaria romania and serbia and greece are set have said that they are in war with islam the un and the eu they're joining voice forces with israel and they're going they're war they're at war against the eu the un and radical islam is what they say so bulgaria Romanian, Serbia, and Greece. Looks like in some way they're pulling obviously away from the EU. Um, so what they mean about war, it's hard, but they're gonna join some sort of force together. So those countries, Bulgaria, Romania, Serbia, and Greece, they're mainly Eastern European countries other than Greece, and they're joining forces to stop the eu madness thank you for listening on the bonry show today another interesting day on the monday with the world seeming to get more divided and more crazy and more and more every day it looks like we will be in a war full scale within two years every country is absolutely un unhappy with the mess and mainly because of the un and the EU are forcing this globalization, which is bringing every country into chaos. And there doesn't seem to be any stopping into it. The Australian Prime Minister came out with that the biggest concerns for Australia were radical, radical Islam. No, not even Islam. He said radical Islam, which I'd say Islam is your biggest problem. But he said radical Islam. And there's, the Muslims are going crazy over that. Well, hello, like if he didn't stop bombing and killing and raping, he wouldn't have to say that. Like seriously, but you know, because the leftists will stand back, oh, you can't discriminate. Well, you can discriminate if they're the ones killing and raping and murdering. You, you cannot not ignore it. Uh, becomes a time where, where almost like this transgender just becomes a stupid joke. Like, so what if they throw their toys out of the, the cot? There's enough, enough with pondering with this bullshit of transgender and radical Islam. It is Islam is Islam. And as the Turkey Prime Minister said, it's insulting to say radical Islam. Islam is Islam. There is only one Islam. And as for transgender, there is only one. There is only one male. There's two genders male and female right and there was some thai boys who were born um because the pill factory had gone into the water and yeah, there was maphrodites in one area and one type of 
over a certain amount of years. But that is not normal. There's two genders. This bullshit about wasting people money and cha changing the the legislation over women when women are the only ones who can have baby sick of this uh pondering to this bullshit leftist feminazis madness thank you for listening on the bonry show you're listening to the bonry show on itv.ie and irish news radio today is the day that we think about family and the times that we share with them and what the government the disgusting government is destroying everything about our values and everything that we are as people leo anti-family anti-female and anything that is good and right he is anti Brought in the barbaric killing by the lethal injections for the babies. Let the rest harass disgusting human being. I hope to God he gets paid back for this. He's going to bring in killing a lethal injection, even death row. Get more respect for this. They will die in horrific pain. Every bit of decency that the unborn should have got has been stripped away. Absolutely, the most barbaric killing in Europe will be brought on to the Irish babies with pain relief up to nine months. Heartbreaking stuff. Italy, the only kind of decent one in Western Europe, is standing up. He's having to loosen his gun laws as the migrants running riot he's already stopped all illegal immigration he's sending the ones back and now he's having to loosen the gun laws to protect the family he's given um families that have one more child so, uh, some land in italy so he's the next step is to loosen the gun laws so they can um actually protect the children um, so, so, and protect his their families because it's absolutely insane. And he gets called far right for conservative, and that's all it is: conservative values, Listen real to values. Bonnie show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Today we're talking about family values and what's left of them with this, this government destroying everything. They're taking in immigrants from mainly African Islamic countries, which are very, very dangerous. They have a very dangerous view towards women and the value of life. And instead, we are leaving white South Africans there, which are being killed, and we're leaving, leaving Christians with the Islamics. Let's talk about this one lady in South Africa. She was gang raped, stabbed in the neck. They dropped a rock on her head. She's 21, a beautiful girl. Her whole life ahead of her, stunning. They ca carjacked her car in Stellenbosch. They, they, they took her car off her. Um, and after they took her card, they kidnapped other women afterwards. They used her bank cards before before the attack, before the attack, the fourth victim. The father spoke out heartbreaking stuff in court and how their lives were destroyed. His wife walked into a sea and never came back out, struggling with the loss of their daughter. So the family died when Hannah died. The sexual assault her. She pleaded that if they could, if they, if they raped her, that they would leave her alive. But people don't understand. People don't rape people because they're so horny or that they're, they're so attracted to them. It's violence. And that wasn't going to save her life. In fact, that was probably the only thing that would have kept her alive. I think she was going to die anyway. They had they had no value on her. I don't think she was going to be able to live no matter what had happened. 
her life was gone, unfortunately. Um, and they went on to rob four other women afterwards, an attack for other women after they stabbed her in the neck and threw, dropped a rock on her head. This is what she's a beautiful, beautiful young girl, whole life ahead of her. And these are the people that the government are taking in and leaving those people, the white South Africans, in danger in this country because of so-called diversity. Diversity would be taking in the white South Africans, but they're obviously not diverse enough. Shocking, shocking stuff. Very, very sad. The value, family values, Leo doesn't have. He's a gay man who doesn't have any fat, traditional family values. And why would he? And he also has a, got a disregard for women. He's gay, of course. People think that gay men love women. Far from it. If they see them as a competition to, to them. Um, he would have Ireland, the whole Ireland gay if it had his way. And the only rights he's interested in is gay rights. He's not interested in any rights for anyone else other than this diversity. And the fact that he's putting women's lives in danger, he doesn't care. Why would he care? He's not going to have a daughter. He's not going to have females in his life. So what difference does he make? Does it make to him that he's putting women's lives in danger by these violent thugs? And they mainly go after women, especially Islamics, because they have no value on their lives. And these Africans, it's easier to attack women. Shocking. And this, because he has no value on women's lives or on family. Where Italy is going completely the other, they have an amazing leader there who stopped all Ill illegal immigration and he started sending them back. A man, amazing, amazing. Um, and they call him far right for conservative, for protecting his country and his people. We have 1,080. 180,000 um, legally owned guns, fire, firearms in this country for a population of less than 5 million. And there's no massive shootings here. People go on as if America, you know, that, 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 that they're crazy having it. The, the best thing that Americans have is their guns so they can protect so they don't end up like South Africa. And that's what's coming for all of these white countries. Unfortunately, they are. There's a genocide. Because we have these traitor, horrible people in governments. Ireland is the worst. I actually really do believe Ireland and Sweden are the worst in Europe. Just horrible. Um, you're listening to The Bonnery Show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Thank you for listening. Have a good weekend and we'll talk on Monday. You are listening to Irish News Radio at irishnews.net. Email news at irishnews.net.